this conference is organized by the cost domains of information and communication technologies, chemistry and biomedical sciences. We're looking at the new trends in information technologies, uh, biomedical sciences, chemistry, physics, mathematics, the new trends that will probably revolutionize the whole healthcare system as we know it today. We have organized this conference with two other domains, three domains at all, communication, chemistry and biomedicine. And our vision is uh, to have new instruments to promote this important uh, issue about personalized medicine. The innovative potential and the health benefits that personalized medicine can bring have deserved much attention at the EU and member state level. We have to explain to many stakeholders what cost is. We have to explain it to members of parliament. We have to explain it to the, to, to the European Commission, to, even to the scientific community, sometimes to our ministers. It's an area that we have long-standing history in Europe in, in investing in because we have uh, funded disease, uh, rare disease research for two decades already. So we have over 430 million euro already invested with more than 60 projects. The major challenge is the societal engagement. How do we involve these patients and most importantly the carers in research? Because as the late Derek Wanley said, an informed patient is a very cost-effective patient. It's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It's the one that is most adaptable to change. Change is all around us. Are we really adapting? One of the reasons why this is a difficult challenge is because there are a number of key stakeholders isolated, each of which controls their domain. And until we are able to get a more effective dialogue, actually as has been achieved in part uh, in Munich and one or two other places, you could see it starting to happen, but in general it's not happening. We are not going to make very much progress. We had initially hoped to get a, a very diverse audience together. Um, as you know, we had policymakers today, we had uh, the European Parliament uh, here. Um, we tried really to get as many different um, people that are relevant for personalized medicine uh, together so that we can benefit from something that uh, cost is really very useful for, is to allow interdisciplinarity and networking amongst people that are not necessarily from the same background and don't have necessarily the, the same scientific focus. When I applied to come to this conference, I didn't realize how uh, multidisciplinary it was uh, going to be. And of course, I um, presented a poster which was very well received. I talked to a lot of people at the poster session, which was for two hours in the evening. And um, uh, of course, it's always very good to be acknowledged for the work that you have done. So it was wonderful in the end to have been awarded a poster prize. <laughs> This experience here uh, was very important for me because uh, by this uh, conference uh, I uh, was able to meet many uh, colleagues from uh, many countries uh, and maybe we'll start a new collaboration with them. So this collaboration will be, uh, I think, uh, very important to realize uh, my research project. Personally, I think for me, the, the most uh, important part is uh, the ability to learn other people uh, that I didn't kn know before. So, so the networking, uh, uh, also outside uh, uh, the, the conference meet, uh, uh, rooms is, is very important for me. Uh, we had a round table discussion and that was also very interesting to see the, the different views of the people uh, about personalized medicine, uh, uh, the pitfalls potentially, uh, the challenges, uh, the opportunities. The, the big change, the big, big paradigm change hasn't happened yet. And the main question we want to put on these four tables, it, 
is how are we going to do it? So coming from a research funder's perspective at European level, I mean, what our major challenge is, is to provide value to European taxpayers who actually are making the investment in the research. Problem is it takes too much time from an idea to translate it into a truck that works and that is approved. So this is the beginning, I suppose, of our interactions, which I hope they will last uh, several years ahead. Because as it has been said many times today, uh, without the collaboration of various disciplines, we cannot really go very far. Huge uh, scientists and clinicians come together that all have the same background ideas about personalized medicine. However, these conferences are really needed to integrate these views in an innovative manner. So we've really moved beyond the sort of programmatic level, emphasizing that we need personalized medicine. But we've seen some cases where things are happening that are coming very close to individualizing um, diagnosis and treatment decisions. And I think what's very obvious is that we need interdisciplinary careers, we need interdisciplinary knowledge and interdisciplinary expertise. And I think we need a dedicated funding for that. So maybe the next step would be to think about how we can make that aspect of personalized medicine happen. Some people from the, this meeting uh, have also the, um, how do you say, the, the capacity to influence the decision that are very important for the medical research. And uh, I think uh, this, this meeting that is not very large is, uh, is more efficient than the larger conferences. I think it is of crucial importance to um, yeah, provide the next generation of people that are going to be going into research, people that are going to be going into the clinics with this knowledge. Uh, this definitely has the potential if we gain the momentum in a maybe second meeting that we really integrate these uh, disciplines uh, because what we need finally to, to tackle these uh, complicated problems is a kind of approach of a dynamic integrated uh, system and that's definitely uh, the future if we have you know transitions between these disciplines and this was the right step. Uh,